Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. To ensure that you guys understand the concept of the handicap in full, I'm going to demonstrate it using the English Premier League fixtures so that it makes sense to to everyone since the English Premier League is the most famous league in the world. So everyone is familiar with that league. So to show you the handicap option and how it works, I'm going to use this fixture man city versus Burnley. so i'm gonna click on more bets to access all the options that i can play on this game then i click on all to access all the option because at the top here you can see there's all popular goals first half and all of that so to ensure that i find the handicap option clearly and uh, to ensure that I don't miss it, I'm going to click on all here. Then I scroll down, down, down. If you can check, the handicap option starts here. And then it ends here where it says 1-0. But for this demonstration, I'm going to show you uh, using this handicap with a... Uh, a score line shown here 0, 1, 0, 2, 0. it's easier to explain using this uh, instead of that so here's what the handicap option is if we check these two teams Man City versus Burnley we all know that Man City is stronger than Burnley any day Man City will beat Burnley unless if it's a special day or something happens they get a red card you know but on a normal day man city beats burnley at any time so with the handicap option what you're doing is you are crippling one team so in a fixture like this it would make sense for you to cripple hence it's called the handicap to cripple man city before the game starts here's what i mean if you check here, um, this is zero, then you have that sign, then you have one. So the zero is for the home team, which is Man City, because it's on the left-hand side. The one is for Burnley, since it's on the right-hand side. So what you're saying is, if you click... If you use this 01 option, if you click on Burnley here, you are saying Burnley is going to win, but it goes into the match with the one goal lead. So it means if you click, it means here yeah, you have handicapped Man City by one goal. So before you go into the match, in your head, you are thinking that. Burnley is leading Man City 1-0. So, if the game progresses and then Man City scores, in real life, the score will be 1-0. But in your head, because you have given Burnley the advantage, the score will be 1-1. And then, let's say City scores again. In reality, it will be 2-0, but in your head, it will be 2-1. So if the game ends in a 2-0 in reality, for, your, for the sake of your bet, the game has ended 2-1. So you can see that uh, giving Burnley a one-goal advantage is probably not a good idea. You can tell that by the odd. You see, they give you a good odd for 1-0. So in this scenario, for example, I think the option which you can play, the safest option is probably 4-0. So here what you're saying is before the game starts, you are assigning Man City nil and you are assigning Burnley four goals. And because you are clicking on Burnley, you are saying Burnley is going to win. If you are clicking on Man City, you are saying Man City is going to win. But because we're giving Burnley four nil, let's say Burnley is going to win. 
So I click there. So let's go through all the scenarios. So in reality, when the game starts, it's nil-nil. But in your head, for the sake of your bet, it's 4-0. And then if Man City scores in real life, the scores will be 1-0 in reality. But for the sake of your bet and in your head, the score is 4-1. So Burnley is still winning. So if the game ends in a 1-0, it means you win your bet because your bet says 4-1. You have give you have crippled Man City. It's a handicap. If Man City scores two goals, and in reality the match is two nil, in your head the match is four two, because Burnley started with four goals. You've crippled Man City by four goals. So I'm sure you get where it's going. Then, if Man City scores, if Man City in reality beats Burnley three nil, it means in your head Burnley still is winning because the score is now four three, for the sake of your bet and in your head. And then you lose the moment Man City make, makes it four goals. Because now it's 4-0. And then in reality it's 4-0. Then in your head it's 4-4 four, four now. So you would have lost because you said Burnley is going to win. But in the case of this 4-4, four, four, if you had said draw, then you would have won. Because you would have given Burnley the 4-0 advantage. But in reality Man City won 4-0. So in your head the score is 4-4. Four, four. And you, you said that the, the game will be a draw. So it's the same thing, guys, with 3-0. Uh, so this one, you must always remember that the, the score on the left is for the home team, which is Man City. The score on the right is for Burnley. So the only time where you cripple Burnley is here. They give you... The only option that they have is a 1-0. So if you say... Uh, going into the game, Man City is leading Burnley 1 0. You can see the odd is very small. So, this means that if the game ends in a 0 0 in reality, and you click Man City here, you would have won because in your head the score is 1 0, even though in reality it was 0 0. So, that's how it goes, guys. I hope I'm like I explained it clearly. Uh, let me. Let me try another fixture yeah, for argument's sake. Let me try another fixture where the weaker side is on the away away side instead of the home side so that you see how it works. Um, it's just loading now. It's taking time. I'm going to wait. Um, I'm going to take this one. Chelsea and Brentford because Chelsea is an away team. Just so you see how uh, the whole thing works. So here, just to confirm, Brentford is a weaker team. It's on the home side. Chelsea, the stronger team, is on the away side. So in a situa situation like this, I will want to cripple Chelsea, handicap Chelsea, and then give Brentford goals. So I will go to these options where the home team is given goals. So let's say... I choose 2 nil. I'm saying before the game starts, Brentford is leading Chelsea 2 nil, And Brentford is going to win. I can still say um, Brentford is leading Chelsea 2 nil, but Chelsea is going to win eventually. That's why the odd is higher there. So let me explain both cases. Let me explain how it works if I say, I click here and I say Brentford is going to win. So going into the match, in reality, the match is nil-nil. But in my head, the match is 2 nil. So if Chelsea scores, then in reality, the score becomes 1 nil. It means in my head, the score is now 2-1. Because I gave Brentford two goals at the start. So Brentford is still leading. Even, even though in reality, it's losing 1 nil. But in my head, it's winning 2-1. For the sake of my the bet that I played. Then let's say Brentford equalizes. The score is now 1-1 in reality. In my head, the score will now be 3-1. So Brentford is still leading. It's leading 3-1. Let's say Chelsea then scores. It's now 2-2. Uh, or 2-1. Let's say they score is 2-1. Yes, it's 2-1. Then what it means is... In reality, the score is 2-1, but in my head, it will be the 1 for Burnley plus the 2 that I gave them 
And then for Chelsea, it will be the 2-0 that they scored themselves. So it's now 3-2. So Burnley, is, Brentford is still winning. I don't know why I keep saying Burnley, but Brentford. Let me explain if I click that Chelsea is going to win. So what this means is I've crippled um, Chelsea by two goals because I gave Brentford two goals. So for this bet to go through, it means Chelsea in reality must beat um, Brentford 3-0. Then in my head, the score will be 3-2. Or actually what it means is Chelsea must beat Brentford by more than uh three goals by three goals or more because let's say now in reality uh, chelsea beat um brentford five two in my head the score will be five four so chelsea is still winning so you can see how the goal difference now explains it better but it's just a matter of adding up the scores that happen in reality and the scores that you handicap the other team by or you handicap the other team for so i hope you guys uh, understand this uh, betting strategy i think it's it's also a good one because for teams which don't have hope you can actually bump them up and uh, ensure that even if the match ends in a draw in reality the goals that you gave them before the, the game push them to win. So I hope you understood the handicap option, guys. Please subscribe to help me keep making these videos. Thank you.